I'm Cynthia. I'm Michelle. I'm Jesse. And I'm Brandon, and we are the Auburn Light, a Christian band out of Lancaster, Pennsylvania. We probably met around seven or eight years ago, all in the same church on the same worship team. Mm -hmm. And uh, I started out as a solo artist, personally, uh, still with the name the Auburn Light. Um, but it, it didn't really mean a whole lot until I became a Christian, and then purpose and meaning really came into the music. And once I started going to the church that I met them at, I heard each of their individual talents and was just blown away by by how well they, they played and sang and, sure. they, and served too. Like we all became really good friends and we did a lot of like outreach and like street worship and stuff like that over the years. So here we are now and uh, nominated for the rock category. Thank you again, Kendrick Music Awards. And, just a little uh, background about this first song. It's called No Control. Uh, it's a little personal story, and I think, uh, honestly, we can all relate to it, how sometimes it can feel like you don't have control over your own flesh and the sin that you so badly try to fight against. Paul even talked about this, you know, doing the things that you don't want to do and not doing the things that you do want to do. So I wrote a song about that, and um, in the chorus, you can see hints of scripture everywhere, like 2 Corinthians 3, 17, which talks about in the spirit of the Lord, there's freedom. And Galatians 5, 1, for freedom, Christ has set me free. So, hope you enjoy the song. No control. I beg and I plead. Will you put off all your sinful ways? It's by grace you're set free. The evidence from the Your sleep, you might as well. 
that's just a lie that you've been told I know you think that there's no So the next song coming up is End of the Age, and this one's pretty self-explanatory. It's straight out of Matthew chapter 28, where right after the Great Commission, which Jesus Christ gives to the disciples, uh, he says, Behold, I will be with you always, even to the end of the age, which is really our hope. Um, because if we had a Savior who left us in the valleys, you know, in the depths of the, the trials and burdens and suffering we go through, he wouldn't really be much of a Savior, and we, we would have no hope there. So... This is really just a, a song of praise and adoration to Christ who, who stays with us and stands beside us as our brother, our great high priest, our savior, our king. So this is End of the Age.
So the next song is Heroes Again, and this song was really written out of a desire to help people see that the gospel is not complicated. Um, it should be able to be conveyed so that a child can understand it. So, I mean, the gospel, you know, Christ is God in the flesh. He uh, lived a perfect life, and he died on our behalf, and then he rose three days later. So I just really wanted to make sure that uh, the gospel was clearly portrayed in the song. So you'll notice in the bridge, John 3.16 comes up, you know, for God so loved the world that he gave his only son. So that whosoever believes in him would not perish, but have everlasting life. And salvation is the most important thing uh, that we could ever have in our life. So the only reason that we can have salvation is because he rose again and the resurrection did happen. So this is Heroes Again. Hope you enjoy it. Silence. He's finished, he said, with his final painting. 
So finally we have Blessed Redeemer. Um, this song actually uh, was inspired from a small group study. It was a John Stott book on Ephesians. And I was just learning about all these incredible spiritual blessings that we get in Christ, which a lot of them, actually most of them, come out of straight out of Ephesians chapter 1. Like he chose us before the foundation of the world. Um, we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of sins. Uh, he lavished upon us wisdom and insight. You can hear all these things throughout the different verses and everything. And then um, the biggest thing is uh, in the chorus, it says, by grace you've been saved through faith. That's not the chorus, but it comes out of Ephesians 2.8. Um, and that's what it's all about. It's about his grace, not by anything we've done. He called us by name because he predestined us before the foundation of the world. And we get to see his glorious return in the end, which uh, is alluded to in the bridge uh, in Revelation chapter 19, where Christ comes through the clouds and his eyes are flint and fire. And he's going to come judge the nation. So, uh, again, that's, that's the hope we all have. So uh, we hope you enjoy Blessed Redeemer.
into your mind.